Hey, Shalom, brother Ara, coming to you with another video. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the whole elect that are seeking for salvation. So another lesson here, um, going into prophecies, particularly riots, protests, though the signs that we're going to see in these end times. Okay, and uh, this here was a protest took place in L.A. It says pure chaos. LAPD gets mobbed after they tackle down and attempt to arrest a protest protester. I got another article here. I'm not going to read through the whole article, but just proof and signs that we're in the, the last days of this wicked rulership and it's, it's on its way out. Okay, it's uh, Reuters came out May 1st, uh, May Day, as they call it. it. says violence erupts in May Day protests in Paris. Marchers criticize Macron. It says police arrest 54 in Paris. Minister says marchers condemn Macron's retirement plan says most other mayday marches peaceful it says police fire tear gas to push back black cat clad anarchists who ransacked business premises in paris on sunday during mayday protests against the policies of newly re-elected president emmanuel macron thousands of people joined mac uh, mayday marches across france calling for salary increases and for Macron to drop his plan to raise the retirement age. Most were peaceful, but violence broke out in the capital where police arrested 54 people, including a woman who attacked a fireman trying to put out a fire. Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin said on Twitter, eight police were injured, he added. So, yeah, it's going down and it's clear that we are in the last days of this wicked rulership at second Ezra's nine and one. It says he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, let's go into the word signs. OK, definition of signs. It says. An object, quality, or event whose presence or occurrence indicates the probable presence or occurrence of something else. Okay. And we see the occurrences is of uh, end time prophecies, which was foretold and prophesied of through the ancient prophets and these prophets in these times. I'm going to get Jeremiah 28 and 8. But it says, indication. All right, signal. So we're seeing an indication of things um, foretelling uh, the near future to come of the downfall and destruction, annihilation of this wicked, sinful kingdom. It says a sign or piece of information that indicates something. Uh, signals, okay, hint. Okay, we're seeing hints of things to come. Manifestation, testimony, a formal written or spoken statement. Okay, and what is the testimony of Yahweh Shai? The spirit of prophecy says evidence and proof. So yeah, this is a beautiful definition right here. Got to start bringing this out more. Let me bring out um, uh, Salakia. Didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> um, let me bring out uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and these ancient prophets, you know, in, in past times, they prophesied through the Holy Spirit. All right. The Rakak Dash, OK, who has the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Uh, we're going to bring that out as well. OK, they they told you before through the spirit. OK, 
It says both against many countries prophesying against an opposition to the current ruler at the time whenever the ancient prophets were on the scene. And in these times we're prophesying against all right, that great country, that get great kingdom. All right. America, Babylon, the great ran by the Edomites, the so-called white people. It says and against great kingdoms of war. OK, we're telling you that World War Three will happen in your lifetime. It says end of evil, bad times, more sorrows, lamentation, prices are going up. You're not going to get paid more. It says end of pestilence, meaning diseases. So it also it's going to affect you physically. For those who are trusting the system and pseudoscience, going to keep getting injected with all different types of poison. People are going to continue to eat unhealthy. People are going to continue to, to catch cancer and all these different things. The Lord, is, the Lord is bringing all this. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He wounds and he heals. Okay, so the, the prophets are on the scene prophesying the things to come through the Holy Spirit who have the, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which I'm going to get now. Okay, Revelation 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Worship who? John the Revelator was given a vision uh, and he encountered an angel, an angel of the Lord. He fell to worship the angel. And this is what the angel said. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. The angel said, do not worship me. It says, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that, I, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. The angel said, I'm your brother. I have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. We're going to see what the testimony of Yahweh Shai is because we just read what a definition of sign is, right? Okay. It says, worship the most high. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And going back to the word testimony, we, we saw equates to what? Sign. It says testimony of formal or written a formally a formal wit written or spoken statement okay especially one given in a court of law okay so we see that the testimony of Yahweh Shai as the, the the angel responded to John the revelator okay the testimony of Yahweh Shai says he says worship the most high for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy so if you have the testimony of Yahweh Shai you are going to be what prophesying telling people what's going to happen before it happens and you have to be raised up and ordained from the lord to have the testimony of yahweh shy okay not any israelite man can go out there and prophesy okay it has to be raised up and ordained by the lord through the holy spirit uh the rakah kodash to go out there and preach his word so with all that being said going back to second ezra 9 and 1 Okay, the, the pure definition of signs led us to this particular, uh, um, to go on a, <laughs> uh, sorry, Salakia for that, but uh, go on a little, um, you know, tour. Okay, but going back to 2nd Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see, see as part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, okay, the Lord tells us through his, his men, all right, ancient prophets, Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, verse two, then shall thou understand. And um, you have to be in the spirit to understand these things, even though there's going to be infallible proofs. It's going to be overwhelming evidence that the Lord is getting ready to return. All right. The signs are going to be evident, but majority of our people are not going to be hearkening to the things that are happening because they are not going to be in the spirit. They're not going to be measuring the times. They're going to be of this world. OK, it says, um. That that it is the very same time wherein the highest will be will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so now we know with these different protests, riots, earthquakes in diverse places, okay, um, wars, rumors of wars, famine, pestilences. Now we know, as it reads on, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquake earthquakes. OK, uh, overwhelming amount of earthquakes that are being reported. It says and uproars of the people in the world. So you're going to be seeing more and more of these. OK.
And soon come is gonna the, the, the these devils gonna declare martial law, which is all designed by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, but these are signs. It says verse four. Then shalt thou well understand, based off of the proofs, the signs. Okay, the evidence, the hints that that, that are gonna be occurring, that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So there you have it, man. Another report on end time prophecies. You can't make this up. I mean, it's clear, it's evident, it's in our faces. But we got to be measuring the times. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.